Tonight she was saluted, admired worldwide by her peers, her work era-defining. Edna O'Brien, now 88, was given the David Cohen Prize for Literature. Everyone you see would like a prize. Children like a prize, horses like a prize, jockeys like a prize, and writers crave prizes. It is her latest book, based around the 2014 kidnapping of Nigerian schoolgirls by jihadist Boko Haram, which she feels the judges wanted to recognise. O'Brien travelled to Nigeria twice after reading about a girl who'd escaped. She met others and their families so she could write her book about a fictional girl and her ordeal captive in a militant's camp. Were you advised not to go by oh, friends and family? I'm very advised I mean... by everyone. Indeed, with common sense, it's not realistic at 87 or 6 or whatever I was then, it's three years ago. A time comes to a writer when a certain story has to be told. I didn't write this as an ego trip because I can tell you there are easier books to write than this. I wrote this book because I felt and feel for this cause, this situation that these girls have been in, are in, and are still being taken to be in. And that was my mission. Go on, my child. O'Brien's mission to explore women's real lives began with her 1960 novel, The Country Girls, later adapted for the screen and stage. It was banned in her home country of Ireland. Its depiction of women's sex lives caused moral outrage. She marvels how times have changed. Having explored Ireland's abortion laws in an earlier novel, she too rejoiced as the country legalised it last year. It's a great success story. And it became, yes, with such a huge uh, uh, margin. But we can't rest on our laurels, either as writers or citizens or as human beings. They all jumbled in together. We have to keep moving. True to her word, she turns 89 next month and may yet write another novel. Nina Nanar, News at 10.